So in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you create a battle system like I already showed in the video. So basically what you do is you can run around, uh, there are special attacks from the enemy, you can shoot the enemy, and yeah. And also you get damaged by the flames and by attacks from the enemy. Also we have a little animation if the enemy is dead. So this was my video about game engines. If you follow games oh, yeah. About yeah, okay. So but this tutorial is gonna be a little bit more freestyle so I'm not gonna have a full structure because it's it's pretty big and sometimes I have to test stuff out but if you follow this tutorial I think you should be able to make something like this. So in the first step we need to think what we need. So we need what objects do we need. So we need an enemy. And so we choose one from the list. It doesn't matter. Make it look like you want. So this is the first event. We we will take a look about, uh, at this here later but at first I want to create the events so I can work with it so what else do we need so we can start like this so we have we can set the coordinates for this for the player and the enemy and now I'm gonna name this coordinate and uh, it will be a parallel process we can set walking off and through to on so if if our player walks up to this tile where this event is it won't get it can walk over it so that's the reason I set it to through and here we can set the coordinates for our player and for our hero and our enemy so we need four variables for now hero X and hero Y and of course we gonna need um, enemy X and enemy y so we have we can always track where our hero is and where our enemy is so first we're gonna set hero x to game data and set it to player map x so we will get the x position of a player after that we can copy and paste this and edit it so we now do the same for hero y and it's of course map y of a player and now we can copy and paste both and change it accordingly to the enemy so enemy x is enemy x on the map okay and enemy y is enemy y on the map good so now we have we have uh, all the coordinates saved and now we know where our player and our enemy is walking or is standing right now and uh, next thing we need something for a bullet so I always choose something like so you can later change it to whatever you want but just to make it just to make it visible that we are shooting something you can change the graphic later I'm just gonna take something like yeah I like this guy so 
we shoot little blobs and yeah so it will be pretty much the same as in the video I showed and now let's see so we have our bullet okay we create it and now we can check if um, if player is doing something so if let's see we could do a conditional branch and we can ask if button ok is pressed down so it's space or return button ok so we can actually do something so I'm gonna go back to this guy here and it will be activated by a switch so we can call it bullet on so normally you won't see it but if I turn the switch on this enemy will appear oh uh, this bullet it's a bullet not the enemy and we can also set here some some stuff so yeah walking animation if you have an animation for your bullet if it goes like a bit up and down so you see so it looks like it's moving a bit you could turn it on but I will turn it off and of course we need to set it to through so whenever it gets activated and the player shoots let's say in the direction of the of the enemy so we shoot in this direction and it won't get stuck at this part or here so it will go through and we want to move it in a, uh, we will it will always move forward and we set it to the highest frequency and speed so it actually looks like a bullet and the root is will always be mm, one step forward so whenever this gets activated this guy will move in the direction he's facing so he's always going one step forward and that's good because we will in in the other event we will always set this accordingly to to the player facing so if the player is facing right this will turn right and it will always go so if it's faced right and will go forward it will always have the direction of your player but we will see that later. So basically we can test this by just s turning the switch on in in the coordinates event. So bullet on, okay. Uh. Ich hab grad mein Video.